All right, secret number 10. This is called the 57% close. All right, and I want to be able to share with you guys a statistics from the CEB Marketing Leadership Council. Business buyers are using digital channels to form opinions about major purchases and do not reach out for information until 57% of the purchase process is complete. Let me repeat that. Business buyers are using digital channels to form opinions about major purchases and do not reach out for information until 57% of the purchase process is actually complete. So one of the things is this, is that before people actually start using your services, they already researched out there. So most of the time, before they even want to start using your non-medical, your private duty company, they already reached out and tried to call other companies, went online, Googled something already to figure out what are people paying, what are people charging, what services should I be looking for, what should I be asking for. They already have detailed information. Okay, they should have that. If they're a physician's office, they already have information out there on what services they're looking for for home health agencies. The question you guys have to ask is this, is that what else can you add to that? And so once again, we're talking about scripts. Sometimes as I'm presenting, if, you know, when we when we walk into a physician's office and we ask a physician, you want to ask, you know, you want to remove the time objection, right? How much time do they have? And so before the presentation starts, doctor, look, before I even start, if you can kindly tell me, sir, you know, how much time do I have to be able to speak to you right now? The doctor tells you, well, you have 15 minutes. Great, doctor. 15 minutes is amazing. All I need is 10, and I'm going to give you all the information that you need. So... Before I even start the presentation, sure, let me ask this stuff. Do you have enough information out there about home health services to be able to make a decision? Most of the time, you know, or would you like me to be able to share with you a little bit more about our services out there that we can show benefits why you want to start referring patients to us? What he's going to say is this, well, no, I, I, I still need more information. Great, let me continue on. So let me tell you about our amazing services. Then you keep on going on. And as you're presenting, you want to be able to read their body language, read their, you know, if they're agreeing or not. And when you start doing your presentations, you can stop in the middle of the doctor. Let me ask you this. Have you seen enough to be able to make sense of our services? What do you feel from what I presented to you right now would make you want to start referring patients to us? He's going to start telling you what he loves, what he's seen from your presentations. Great. Can I add anything with to be able to get your decision and start referring to us? These are questions you have to ask him. Now, let's say, for example, he says, no, you know what? I haven't seen enough. Please keep on talking. Great. Let me start going off a little bit more. Keep on going. The reason why you ask these questions, you want to be able to ask this at least um, every five minutes or every 10 minutes, at least twice in a presentation. That's the minimum. Is this is because have you ever like had a presentation done for you? Somebody's trying to sell you something. You already chose it. You already made a decision that I wanted to buy this. And you're like wondering, why is this? person keep on talking i i just want to purchase it already i just want to here take my credit card but you know it feels weird and you just want to keep on listening because you feel bad you know it's his job to do the presentation right and you just let him talk 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 yet you already made your decision in your head what you wanted there are times and it has happened to me where the moment i even walk in i give them my brochures they're already reading it and all of a sudden i'm not even asking for it and before i even start presenting myself, he tells me, oh, you guys are offering telehealth? I said, yes, doctor. I go, finally, I finally find a home health agency accepting telehealth. I've been looking for one. I have a couple patients right now. I haven't even started my presentation. This doctor is already referring to me. Why? Because we're offering something that he wanted, that he's always wanted. So it goes the same exact way. You need to be able to ask ahead of time because if you really made the decision that he wants to use your services, why even waste his time? You know, start getting those referrals and come back again and go ahead and bring them some donuts or something.